What's up guys, Hokey Bird here, bringing you the Noob's Guide to Legendary for the second mission in the Halo 2 campaign, Outskirts. The message just repeats. Regret. 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 Catchy. Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the Corps just blew up our raggedy ass fleet! Hoorah! Regret is a name, Sergeant. The name of one of the Covenant's religious leaders, a prophet. He's on that carrier, and he's calling for help. Immediate. Grid Kilo 2-3 is hot. Recommend mission abort. Roger, Recon. It's your call, Sarge. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Master Chief, get aboard that carrier. Secure the Prophet of Regret. This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That Prophet is going to tell us why. 30 seconds out. Stand by to... Whoa. Blink if you can hear me, Chief. To start things out, mainly the grunt as he runs away from you, and then pick up his plasma pistol, and then shoot grunts in the head, and then there's going to be two jackals on the right over there. You can either take them out with battle rifle headshots, or frag grenades work particularly well. There's also going to be a squad of Covenant on the lower level of that building. It's going to include two elites, one red, one blue, and your standard grunts. Uh, you can let Johnson take out most of them with his sniper rifle. At the very least, EMP their shield so that they only have to shoot him once in the head. If they didn't know we are here before, they do now. Yep, here they come, up high! So you're gonna have to defend this building from a whole bunch of waves of Covenant. Um, usually those groups are gonna consist of one elite plus grunts. There's a couple of waves where it's one elite plus jackals, and then when the Phantom comes in, it's gonna be a whole bunch of elites and a couple grunts. And then what comes with those waves are gonna be jackal snipers up on the roofs. So instead of actually trying to fight the jackal snipers and getting myself killed, I just let the marines deal with them. More on the street, left side. What I do is I try to, as soon as possible, get up here, kill any snipers if necessary, and grab myself a beam rifle. And that's particularly helpful when you face the wave of drones that come over the rooftops. Now, if you really want to, you can pretty much skip from here all the way to about uh, the halfway part of the mission by jumping across the rooftops, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you how you can fight this out. Okay, so having acquired a beam rifle, what we're going to do is drop it, and it works the same way as the Halo 1 engine did in that... Any weapon that you have touched will never disappear, so as long as you've picked up that beam rifle, you can drop it and don't have to worry about it disappearing. And then as for the actual combat, it's pretty much standard elite combo and headshots. Take out the elites first, and then mop up the grunts, and it's always entertaining if you can kill a grunt as it's throwing a grenade, and then the grenade will land at its feet and blow everybody up. We got jackals in the courtyard! This is one of the exceptions to the rule of one elite plus grunts. This time it's one elite plus jackals. Frag grenades are extremely effective. So are headshots if you can land them. And then you can just elite combo the elite. This was actually a lucky guess that I guessed correctly when the wave of drones would be coming. And I picked up the beam rifle at the right time. Buggers, heading over the rooftops! But you don't want to get too far away from the beam rifle, or else uh, the drones will catch you off guard. You basically want to snipe them as they're coming in over the rooftops before they start shooting at you. Because they really won't shoot at you much from long distance. Not to mention, before they get up close and personal, they'll be flying in a pretty straight line and they're much easier to snipe. And then there's going to be a jackal sniper over here. You can either let Johnson deal with him 
or shoot him yourself. And then just keep your eye on your motion tracker because you're most likely going to get another wave of one elite plus grunts coming either from uh, these alleyways or from that corner behind me. Now at some point after Johnson says we got jackals in the courtyard, you'll get another wave of jackals and one elite. And they'll be more or less unannounced because Johnson won't say anything. But take them out the same way as the first wave. Uh, kill all the jackals with headshots or frag grenades, and then the elite with the elite combo. Down low. Here comes another wave of one elite plus grunts. You'll probably notice this is starting to get pretty monotonous and it plays out the exact same way as every single wave before it. The Phantom will mark the second to last wave. All you have to do is take cover under here and it can't shoot you. And then you can grenade the enemies as they're coming out of the Phantom. Unfortunately, the auto-aim will often pull your reticle down and you'll throw the grenade short. So that's easier said than done. Now there's going to be um, one Spec Ops Elite, one Zealot, and then some other Elites. They're either going to be blue or red. And then I think there's going to be like two grunts. The main threat is the Zealot and the Spec Ops Elite. The Zealot will run straight for you with that sword, so he shouldn't be any problem as long as you've got a plasma pistol. Then in addition to that, there's also going to be a third wave of jackals over in the courtyard over here. It plays out the exact same way as the first two. Girl's a little big for that courtyard, Sergeant. I see a good LZ on the other side of these buildings. Meet you there. Over. Copy that. Someone get a satchel on the gate. You've got a couple seconds between the time that Johnson says somebody get a satchel on the gate and the time that the hunters bust down the doors. So use that to pick up your beam rifle and get up here on this turret and then just mow down the hunters with the turret. You how it's done. Second squad, this is Cortana. What is your status? Over. We're operational, ma'am. Barely. Our pilots didn't make it. Find a hole. Stay put. We'll come to you. So, have your beam rifle out, and then peek around this corner and snipe the jackal. And then you can either ignore the three jackals over there or take them out with a frag grenade. Sergeant, I need you on that bird. Ma'am? My pelicans are going to start airlifting armor and reinforcements into the city. They'll need an escort that isn't afraid of a little hostile ground fire. Understood. I'll keep an eye on them. Chief, good luck. So here you want to swap out your battle rifle for the sniper rifle. And don't worry. There's a method to my madness. What you want to do is arm these three marines all with beam rifles. There's going to be the one you had, then there's going to be one down here, and then there's going to be one up here where you sniped the jackal. And then they'll have battle rifles to replace the one that you just got rid of. So now they should have beam rifles and you should have a full sniper rifle and a full battle rifle. So a lot of people hate this part. The trick is to know exactly where all six snipers are. There's going to be one in front of you, and then there's going to be two in that bombed out building. One low and one high. There's going to be one over there by that explosive crate. And then there's going to be two up on the rooftops. There's one there. I'm surprised he didn't kill me. 
and then there's gonna be one on the right that you can only see once you move up. Now before you move up, you want to snipe the drones, and if you can snipe the drones, you'll probably keep most of your marines alive. Here's the other sniper I was mentioning before that you can only see once you move up. And then that's all six jackal snipers. And then as you move up, you're going to be ambushed by three invisible elites, two with swords and one dual wielding plasma rifles. The marines probably won't survive. And at this point, it's probably not worth taking the extra effort to try to keep the marines alive. They don't help out that much now that the snipers are all down. Somehow a drone got stuck up there. I was considering either jumping up there or throwing a grenade. And somehow that grenade killed my marine that was standing below it. I have no clue how that happened. Now then, before you move down the alleyway and activate the worst checkpoint in the mission, you want to grab the sniper rifle ammo that's stashed back there. I strongly prefer doing this from the right corner. You want to move up until you get a checkpoint and then the jackal sniper will appear. So you want to shoot him with the sniper rifle. And then what's going to happen is a cheap little tactic that's basically designed to try to kill you. Two snipers are going to appear at once and you can't shoot them both at once. So what you're going to do is you're going to outsmart Bungie. You're going to hop up here and shoot this one where the other one can't get you and then you're gonna hop back down and take out this one where the first one was. There's one more sniper that you can't forget about. He's gonna be right here. Toss a grenade, watch him fly. And then that's all four snipers. Now you can move forward and get a checkpoint. Now here's an encounter unique to Legendary. There's going to be eight waves of Covenant that are going to try to defend this alleyway. And that's way more than any other difficulty, including Heroic. So, I strongly suggest that you swap out your sniper rifle in favor of a plasma pistol. So just let all the waves come to you, because you can't really move up, uh, because there's a jackal sniper out there and he'll kill you just about instantly if he sees you. So, there's gonna be eight elites, one per wave, uh, with assorted grunts. So just take them all out with the standard plasma pistol headshot or uh, plasma pistol grenade stick. Very bad thing. It's still there. Now something you should be aware of is that there's gonna be a zealot out here with a sword that'll drop down and try to ambush you. It's not very successful, and you can stick him pretty easily since he runs right at you. But if you're counting elites, that means you should kill nine elites, including that zealot, and then you'll know you're done.
so now the waves are going to stop spawning and the only thing left is a single jackal sniper. Just fire a shot to draw him out and then you can shoot him with the beam rifle. And then what I'll do is I'll go back for my sniper rifle and carry that into the next area. The main thing you want to do here is shoot the grunt that's chucking the grenades and then you should be able to snipe the spec ops elite since he'll be stunned after every shot and then just keep in mind it's a spec ops elite so he ain't fucking around it'll take three body shots and one headshot from the sniper rifle to take him out chief glad you could make it crash sites on the other side of this hotel chief covenant are crawling all over it follow me For this part, there's a couple things you can do, but what I like to do okay. is pick up the Magnum here, swap out my battle rifle for it, is that it huh? and then dual wield it with the plasma pistol from one of the grunts out here. So, with a plasma pistol in one hand and a Magnum in the other, just elite combo the shit out of these guys as they come around the corner. The Marines will help too. Enemy. What? There's another one. And then once you move up, there's gonna be a phantom out here. As well as a couple grunts. Just mop up the grunts as the phantom comes in. And then pick up another plasma pistol. Uh, over here works for cover. Or back in that building. But what I like to do you just chuck grenades until I'm out of grenades, and then pick up uh, the plasma pistol to take out the elites. Except in this case, the marines did all the work for me. highest concentration of Covenant troops is directly below the carrier. I don't think they want you to get on board. That bridge is the most direct route to the city center. I like to arm the Marine that's going to be riding shotgun in my Warthog with the sniper rifle, and it makes him a hell of a lot more useful than if he has a battle rifle or SMG. Unfortunately, sometimes this is easier said than done, because I have seen it happen that I give him the sniper rifle and he'll run away, and a Marine from halfway across the map with an SMG will run over and get in my Warthog instead. Cut the chatter. We got trouble. So with your Marine with the sniper rifle, this first area is a hell of a lot easier than it would be. The only thing you really have to watch out for is the Jackal sniper in that raised platform over there. Yo, I found one! Let me at him! So I just wait for an opening when it's safe to pick up this beam rifle right here by the dead sniper and then I'll snipe the jackal in the raised platform. Now this was something that never happened before. The marines actually took care of him for me. But then with the jackal sniper down, now you can just slowly move up on the covenant that are dug in up there and then let the marine sniper go to town. The only remaining threat here is the plasma turret back there and you can even snipe that yourself with your beam rifle if you really want. This part here plays out mostly the same way as the last area. There's going to be a bunch of Covenant here when you arrive. There's always going to be one Elite up in that building. And then there's going to be a couple Ghosts. You should be able to take them out with the Marine Sniper. And 
then once you clear out a couple of them, a phantom will move into position and drop off two more ghosts. Uh, the only thing I can say about the phantom is take cover and use the warthog to kill the ghosts that it drops off. Your choices are either keep moving or stay in cover. Now it'll drop off two ghosts and once those two ghosts are down, two more ghosts will appear from around the corner leading to the next area. And then once those two ghosts are down, then the phantom will fly away. And then once the phantom flies away, uh, check the area, make sure there's no elites left. And then you can just move to the next area. Chief, the carrier just launched a wave of pods. They're inbound on your position. Now, while this would be more fun to do in the Warthog, the sad reality is that it's more practical to do this on foot. There's a rocket launcher up here, and so your first priority is to shoot the guns off the Phantom. Your next priority are Ghosts and the Jackal Sniper. Don't let him get away! So you can just snipe the Jackal Sniper. You should be far enough away that he won't even know you're there. Wow, Marine. Really? Oh my god. Well, ignoring the completely incompetent Marine, you can take out the Elites with either the Rocket Launcher or the Beam Rifle. And there's even a Sniper Rifle here. If you run out of beam rifle ammo. Someone destroyed that vehicle. Demon player, scatter. I can't see it. The thing you have to make sure of is that you don't completely run out of rocket launcher ammo. Now there's some down here as well, but after that you use all that up, there's none left. Now, usually, a fresh Warthog will show up from around that corner, and that's what I was waiting for, but it didn't happen this time, so I have to take back my nearly destroyed Warthog being driven around by incompetent Marines after I take out all these ghosts. And then you probably guessed you want to get in the Warthog and then give the rocket launcher to your marine passenger so then you'll have uh, what I like to call rocket hog it's extremely powerful has about the same firepower as a tank and much more mobility now I'm aware where the weak spot on the ghost is but at this point I thought it was so close to being destroyed that I didn't have to bother. Turns out I was wrong. It took me 10 shots to take down this ghost, which is uh, about 6 more than should be necessary. It really should only take a couple shots. All you have to do is hit that giant fuel tank on the left side of it. And it'll completely blow up. Now when you do that, sometimes the elite will survive, but then you can snipe him as well. And this is about the point where I decided, okay, the fresh Warthog isn't coming. I'm going to have to take my Warthog back and uh, set it up such that I've got Rocket Hog. Take the wheel, sir. So, 
I tried to give him the rocket launcher, but my other weapon was a sniper rifle, so you can't carry two sniper rifles. Come on, this is our chance. Watch this. This is just Please, stupid. Just I get him out, give him the rocket launcher, and he runs away. Fucking brilliant. Bungie, 343, if you're listening, please make it such that I have some commands in Halo 4 where I can say, Marine, get in the Warthog. This is just plain annoying. Anyway, once you move up, a bunch of Covenant drop pods will spawn, and out will come elites. And then once you take those out, two more ghosts will appear from the tunnel, and then once you take those down, you can move on. This tunnel links up to the bridge. It's full of rats, if you know what I mean. But it beats swimming. I've been analyzing the Covenant tactical chatter. They're surprised. Confused. I don't think they expected us to be here. Not you and me. All of us. Humanity on Earth. Odd, I know, but it does help explain why they came here with such a small fleet. Once you move up to the point that it says loading done, a fresh warthog will appear behind you. So what I did is I traded out this nearly destroyed one for this fresh one. And then worry, try to I'll set up try. rocket hog again. There we go, he's got the rocket launcher. And he's right next to the passenger seat. And so obviously the logical course of action is to run away with the rocket launcher. Once again fucking brilliant. So once you've got Rocket Hog set up, you can take out these guys pretty easily. For this first area, there's going to be one ghost, a couple jackals, and one elite. The rocket launcher has homing against ghosts. And the marine has pretty good aim on what he doesn't have homing against. You know, I really should start counting. This next area plays out the exact same way as the first, except there's a stationary gun, which okay, is taken cool. out very, very Ooh, easily if you've got the rocket launcher. And sometimes if you take them out quickly enough, the elite won't even get in the ghost. Once they're all taken out, I highly recommend going up here on this left side rather than jumping the warthog because a wave of drones will spawn and they're much easier to take out if you just stay back and let the chain gunner do his thing. All the needles will ricochet off the hood of the warthog and then the guy with the chain gun will take him down. Then once they're all taken out, the next group is pretty similar to the ones you've already dealt with. There's one stationary gun, a couple of elites, and a couple grunts and jackals. Now I can honestly say I had never seen this happen before. That elite straight up jacked me. It was kind of funny since I didn't get killed. Anyway. More of the same, exact same tactics, move up slowly, let the rocket gunner do his thing. Oh no no no, I meant to do that. I meant to do that!
For this part, there's going to be two more ghosts, so I just like to take cover behind this shipping crate, and then I'll just let the rocket gunner do his thing. In case you haven't noticed, you're pretty much guaranteed to kill them if you can get behind them, and you're almost guaranteed to die if they get behind you. And though you might not think of it, the exact same thing applies to on-foot combat. So here you'll encounter your first shadow, which is basically just a mobile stationary gun. So just let your passenger with the rocket launcher take him out. There's also going to be a couple more in lead, so just to let your chain gunner do his thing. So here there's going to be three more shadows. You really shouldn't have a problem with this as long as you've got a passenger with a rocket launcher. The Covenant must be trying to regroup. Don't let them. There's one. And I thought I was good behind the wheel. The other two play out the exact same way, and as long as you've got the passenger with a rocket launcher, as well as another marine in the back on the chain gun, these guys really shouldn't pose you any problems. There's going to be a fourth shadow here, but you can kill it the exact same way that you killed the first three. And then here's the final area. What I like to do is hop out and just snipe the grunt on that plasma turret up there. Unfortunately, in getting back in, I accidentally got my Marine out of the chain gun seat, and it takes a few seconds for him to get back in, which is unnecessary and very annoying. But the guy with the rocket launcher will destroy the two ghosts that attack, and then as long as you stay to the right of this big crate, you should be fine. And then I like to hop out and snipe the other grunt on a plasma turret. And that's pretty much it. Just mop up the rest of them with your rocket hog, and then drive up and out of the tunnel to end the mission. <laughs>